Thermal imaging using infrared cameras has shown promise overseas as a non-invasive means of detecting temperature anomalies that could indicate animal disease or distress. Here in New Zealand, Ag Research has developed this technology and is working with LIC to design a system to detect mastitis as cows arrive for milking at the dairy shed. Infrared thermography picks up the heat given off by the animal. We've been working on it for a number of years now. We've seen that it has several potential applications on farm. That's included looking at heat given off when cows are developing mastitis, um, looking at um, when uh, an animal might be sick and having a, a temperature from that. We've looked at when animals are stressed or feeling pain, the heat distribution in their body changes at that time. And we've also looked at the heat given off by animals as a measure of how efficiently they're turning food into growth or production. We've been looking at how animals give off the heat and we've seen that it has a number of potential benefits on the farm. One is that it is non-invasive, so you can collect this information remotely. And now with the advent of increasing electronic ID, it makes that whole area of collecting information and identifying it back to animals remotely really quite simplified. It's been used uh, more in research situations and on farm so far, and uh, here at LIC we're trying it on a, on a commercial farm. Um, so we've shown that it can potentially have benefits to farmers really as an additional way to monitor their animals. And the reduction in costs of cameras, electronic ID as I mentioned, has meant that it's probably timely now when you know, it could well be taken up into a commercial situation. So we've sort of shown some of the potential research wise and then companies like LIC um, are going to look at whether you know, it has practical to link in with their systems you know, and, and be um, put out into you know, wider distribution on farms. We're in the investigation phase of this and, and, and trialling. It's very much experimental at the moment. Ultimately, probably on farm, it would be a tool for farmers to use as a screening tool for mastitis. Without looking at all the data, and we don't have the data yet, we don't think it's going to be some silver bullet for, for solving mastitis but it's, it'll offer another pair of eyes for farmers looking to manage mastitis on farm and, and hopefully, you know, hopefully show, show these cows up earlier than what they're picking them up now and hopefully treat them earlier so that means sort of more milk in the vat at the end of the day. This is actually a cow that has got mastitis and this is a heat signature for this particular cow. This is the sort of images that the, the scientists look at evaluating um, and looking at a, at a computer system that will evaluate that heat signature automatically. Um, when it comes to the commercial aspect of it, I don't think farmers will have a shot of this on their, on their screen in their cow shed. Um, what will happen, it will happen behind the scenes. One of the pluses of this is we've already got our Easy Heat camera system that we're trialling and developing at the moment, and that's hooked into our ProTrack system. So we can see this further camera technology hooking into a ProTrack system or a farm automation system quite easily. So that way, you know, it's less for farmers to do. The smarts is in the computers and the algorithms that will do all the thinking and do the looking for the farmer and then the ProTrack system will draft the animal off at the end of the day with an alert say, check this cow for possible mastitis. We're looking at mastitis initially to start with, um, that's probably the one with the biggest payoff for farmers. Uh, the other areas that we're possibly looking at with this technology is um, other animal health aspects. Um, until we start collecting some of these images and looking at the data and, and tying it in with what's actually happening on farm with these animals, we'll see what else we can actually use the thermal imaging for. Um, possibly another one that is lameness or potential lameness. So we might have to point the camera looking at the cow's legs in, in, in that area and seeing what we can pick up there. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.